Welcome back, Patriots, the Chosen Ones. Today, we're diving deep into the unprecedented hidden operations that are set to rewrite history as we know it. We've uncovered shocking updates that reveal who's truly in control and the unfolding role of Guantanamo Bay. This is one you don't want to miss, so stay vigilant and share this video far and wide. We've been watching the greatest deception in history unfold. The deep state cabal, believing they could deceive the world, has underestimated the power of truth. For years they've manipulated the global narrative, hoping to keep people in the dark. But now, the truth is finally coming to light. The real Biden presidency never existed. Since 2020, what we've seen has been a staged display, part of an intricate plan with actors playing the role. And behind the scenes, the military is in control with Commander-in-Chief Donald Trump at the helm. The RKP, or Reverse Key Program, has yet to be fully activated in the Philippines. However, its spirit is already in motion, working to dismantle the powers of the deep state. This isn't just a strategy, it's a calculated move to reverse every damaging agenda that's been set against the people. Each step is methodical, precise and designed to protect freedom. The time for secrets is over, and with each passing day, more is exposed. To fully understand the RKP, we have to look at the quantum financial system, a technology set to revolutionize the world's economy and put an end to the corrupt financial order that has drained nations and enslaved populations. It's more than just finance, it's about restoring global sovereignty and allowing people to take back control of their wealth. The days of the elite stranglehold on our resources are ending. The quantum financial system, or QFS, is a global system that's immune to manipulation and designed to safeguard against tyranny. And it doesn't stop there. Alongside the QFS, MedBed technology is being developed and tested. This revolutionary healing system is something the elite wanted to keep hidden for their own benefit, but it's finally coming to the people. Imagine a world where chronic diseases are a thing of the past, where disabilities are reversed, and where advanced healing is accessible to all. This is the future we're heading toward, and it's a future that puts people first. Now, let's shift our focus to Gitmo, or Guantanamo Bay. The mainstream media has sold us the idea that Guantanamo Bay is outdated, nearly empty, or on the verge of closing. They want you to believe it's no longer relevant, but the truth is buried beneath layers of silence and distraction. Despite political promises, countless traitors to our country have been sent to Gitmo, and the recent expansions there tell a story of power and hidden agendas. Behind the scenes, Gitmo isn't shutting down. It's more active than ever. And that's what they don't want you to know. Here's the shocking reality. The expansions and operations happening at Gitmo reveal preparations for something monumental. The facility has been fortified, expanded, and equipped for high-stakes operations. From troop deployments to new infrastructure, there are signs of major activity and readiness at Gitmo. But why? What are they preparing for? Consider the troop deployments. Over the years, military support at Gitmo has only grown. The Louisiana National Guard, West Virginia's Guard, South Dakota, Michigan and Pennsylvania have all deployed troops to Gitmo. These weren't brief stints, they lasted months, with additional reinforcements and extended stays. The question is, why deploy so many troops to what's supposedly eddying facility? The answer lies in the new expansions. Gitmo's housing capacity has skyrocketed with new wings to accommodate far more than the current detainees. This isn't normal procedure. It's preparation on a scale that we haven't seen before. A state-of-the-art medical complex now stands within Gitmo, capable of handling long-term needs for high-profile detainees, along with new courtrooms built specifically for simultaneous trials. Part 4. Broken Promises, Obama and Biden's Charade We were promised change by the Obama administration in 2009. Obama vowed to close Gitmo. The world applauded, thinking justice was finally being served. But where are we today? All we got was red tape and delays. Despite a few detainees being transferred, Gitmo never closed. Why? Because hidden powers wouldn't allow it. Fast forward to Biden's administration. Another promise, another sham. They say Gitmo is outdated, a blight on America's reputation, and that it will be shut down. 
Yet here we are in 2024, and Gitmo isn't just operational, it's fortified, expanded and fully prepared for action. This charade is played out for the cameras while the real story unfolds in darkness. Part 5. Military deployments reveal the true story. The deployment patterns alone tell us everything. If Gitmo is really just a ghost town, why is the National Guard continuously being sent? Take a look at the timeline. 2019, Louisiana's National Guard steps in for prison support. This wasn't a one-time event. It was the beginning of something bigger. 2020, West Virginia's National Guard reinforces Gitmo's watch for nine months. Why are we sending reinforcements for a mere 30 detainees? 2021 South Dakota's Guard spends a full year on detention operations. Does this sound like a camp on the verge of closing? 2024, this April, Michigan's Guard 117th Military Police Brigade arrives, and in May, Pennsylvania's Guard joins. These aren't training exercises, these deployments are securing operations on a massive scale. Part 6. Expansions that speak volumes. And if the troop deployments aren't enough to raise questions, the new infrastructure at Gitmo should. Actions speak louder than words, and Gitmo's actions are revealing. New housing wings push Gitmo's capacity beyond what's needed for a mere 30 detainees. This is not routine. It's preparation for something monumental. A state-of-the-art medical facility resembling a major hospital has been constructed, signalling long-term detention plans. Why aren't we questioning why? A newly built courtroom for high-stakes trials with millions invested? Proof that Gitmo is not winding down, it's gearing up for significant trials ahead. Part 7. Theories and truths collide. So, why is Gitmo expanding and what's the real agenda? The steady drumbeat of troop deployments and enhanced infrastructure points to Gitmo being more than just a prison. It's a stronghold of national security. Many believe that tribunals have already taken place behind closed doors, with Gitmo hosting the trials of those who pose a grave threat to the nation. These aren't foreign enemies. These are individuals who've threatened the very foundation of America from within. Part 8. Trump's Stance No Holds Barred During his presidency, President Trump was clear on his stance on national security and rooting out traitors. Rumours of Gitmo's renewed purpose gained traction during his term, with whispers that Gitmo was being revitalised for a reason. His message was simple. America would root out those who betray the nation without hesitation. And now, with the expansions and troop deployments, Gitmo may be the key part of that strategy. Part 9. The Final Unmasking A countdown to revelation. The truth about Gitmo is racing toward us. Each deployment, every new building, all hint at an unprecedented wave of activity ahead. The day is coming when the truth will be revealed, a truth that will shock the nation to its core. Why now? Because the world is at a tipping point. Conflict and political tension are escalating everywhere and Gitmo's readiness is no coincidence. Stay awake, stay alert, and stay informed. The fight for truth is just beginning. Prepare, because Gitmo won't just be an echo of history, it's about to be a headline of our present and a battleground of our future. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and share this video to keep the truth alive. Patriots, stay vigilant, because the countdown has begun, and soon the world will know the truth. The Great Awakening is here.